Hello friends, I'm Amy Explorer. I'm back again with a hat this time. Today is a tarot deck review. This is a tarot deck that I've had for close to a year, if not a little over. Um, it was actually sent to me by the creator and the creator of this deck I actually had on my podcast for an episode. So I will link in the show notes that episode so you can hear more about this because the artist is also working on another tarot deck that is discussed in that episode. But before I get ahead of myself, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Lauren. I'm an artist, art teacher, art ritual facilitator, tarot reader, all those good things right outside of Philadelphia, PA. So... You want to hear about the tarot for tarot of plants. Of course you do. Today I'm not only going to be reviewing just the deck alone, but the field guide that was included in the package of amazing things that um, Heather sent to me. So one thing I want to just kind of say on off the get-go is because this was sent to me, um, and all of that, you know, that might affect how I feel about this. Sorry in advance. I don't have to be ethical in this way. I don't have to. But I am going to say I, I think I, I, can, I can keep it pretty honest with y'all. I can keep it honest with y'all. Of course, if you're interested in seeing more, I do talk about um, toxic spirituality. I talk about astrology and... All sorts of things. If you want to see me review more decks, I have a deck review playlist. And of course, like, comment, subscribe so you can stay notified on all the things that I put out. So let's begin by talking about the whole package. Now, another disclaimer, I am not necessarily the, the most herbalist sort of witch. There are a lot of things that I am hype and really into. But if I'm being honest with myself, herbalism is one of those things that is not necessarily my interest. Um, if I need herbs, I'm going to ask other witches their advice and go from there. I think some of that is because I tend to be a little wary of stuff because I am personally on SSRIs and other things for uh, my mental health. So I'm just very wary. I'm not going to be doing crazy things, right? Um, but with that said, let's get into it. Um, having both of these is really important to me. So I am going to be reviewing them as a unit because, quite frankly, as someone who is not really, I don't know a lot about plants, I don't know a lot about herbs and all that shit, this was kind of a hard deck for me just to like pick it up and know everything. So having this guidebook, which is a good, chunky book. This is a stable book. And what I love about the pair is that they're like the same quality of finish. So they're both the box and the book have a good sturdy like feel to them. This is... The, kind of, the grip that the box has. So that's really nice. Um, of course, you don't necessarily need the field guide because it has a little cheat sheet in it. Now, is the cheat sheet exactly what I would need as a person who is not really, I don't know a lot about plants? It might be a little short for me. It might not really give everything I need as far as information. But this is the little piece of paper. It's not bad. It's just very simple. And we love simple, to be fair. If it's going to fit in the box, which I love that it does, that's something that I truly, truly love, um, make it short, make it sweet, so that I can just be reminded when I'm looking. It doesn't need to give me pages and pages and pages and pages. Like That's just not necessary for me. I don't find that helpful. If you do, great. Make sure you get this as well because this book is phenomenal. A phenomenal companion for this tarot deck. 
Now this is what the back of the bo uh, box looks like. It has some of the examples of the um, of the the things, some examples of the cards, which I love. It has an empty and amazing dot com on the side. That's where you can find them. Empty and amazing on Instagram. So definitely look them up. It has the year of production, so 2018. This is the solar edition that I'm sharing with you today. I'm not really sure what that means, but that's okay. A botanical standard style tarot deck. So that's what's on the side here. Again, the box is a nice sturdy box. If I have a deck in a box like this, I want it to kind of feel like this. It has a satin finish, same as the book. This field guide is a hardcover book. This isn't just some regular run-of-the-mill book. This is actually a, a great fucking book. I'm I'm real hype about this this bad boy. But let's talk about the deck first. So let's looky looky inside and let's understand a little bit. So seed are the aces. We have sun as our um of course I'm getting ahead of myself. So in this, uh, mine in the miners and in the suits, um, it's spring for wands, summer for cups, autumn for pinnacles, and winter for swords. So this deck is really breaking things down to fit in with the style that this artist and creative is going for. We're following the seasons for each suit, which I think is great. Acids are seeds, uh, two through 10 follow accordingly. And then for the knights, pages, and all of that, it's son, daughter, father, mother. So of course it's maybe instead of king of cups, it's, um, ooh, this is interesting. Is father and mother different? I have to look this up right now because now I'm not certain. Um, we're going to learn this together. Eight of Winters, Lady Slipper. I don't know if that means anything to you. Father of Oak, Steady. So yeah, Father is King and uh, Mother is Queens, I believe. If I'm being 100% honest, that's what it seems. I just wanted to um, ensure. Mother of Winter is Sassafras, Enduring Mother. So before I get ahead of myself here, let's, let's look at the deck. Let's actually pull out the deck and look at it. Again, this is the box. Here's what some of the art looks like. Um, and let us begin, right? So it's a good standard deck. The cardstock is nice. It's again, a good satin finish. I personally love a good satin finish. It feels good in the hands. It's easy to shuffle. Um, standard size, this is not big, this is not small. This is a regular-ish 78 card deck, okay? So let's shuffle and pull. So here we go. The art is rather simple and playful. So this is an example. Daughter of Winter is the ash tree. Here is some more. So again, it's very these these drawings are very simple and I think if you know astrology, not astrology, um, herbalism and plants more than me, this might really resonate with you. But because I don't really know much about um, plants in general, daughter of autumn is blueberries, so that's cute. I think it might be challenging for some friends who maybe don't have that connection. Is that a problem? No. This is the back again. Simple, but effective. Ah, oh, the Empress's corn. I get that. That fucking makes sense to me. Um, again, this is going to really resonate with you if you have connections with plants. Love that. Chicory is justice. The other day I used 
uh, bindweed when talking about the devil. And when I pull out this deck, I have to use the field guide. I love the field guide. I learn about plants by, by referencing the field guide. So if you're wanting to connect, look, it's potatoes. If you're wanting to er understand herbalism and maybe connect to plants more, this actually is a great deck to learn from if you already have a relationship with tarot. Um, using this field guide, I think the way Heather breaks this down is gorgeous. There's a lot of great sections that help you kind of like understand where you're coming from or where she is coming from rather. Um, really adorable illustrations of these things. So something that I want to kind of harp on is that this is not a beginner's deck. Um, I think this is definitely a great deck for collectors. Um, if you are looking to expand and kind of add to your collection some beautiful pieces um, that really resonate with your inner herbalist or if you're an outdoorsy sort of person, this could be a really cool deck for you. This could really support you in what you're trying to learn or deepen, but this is not a deck for the faint of heart. This is definitely a deck for people who either understand herbalism or understand tarot and maybe want to connect um, vice versa, right? That way it's a little, it's gonna be a little easier for you to, to read because this deck gives you to a plane. There's nothing here that as a that would just easily resonate with you, except yeah, water lily resonates with me big, big, big time. Unless you have some sort of background with one or the other, right? Now that doesn't mean that that's a problem. I don't think it's a problem at all. This is a great deck. The design is uniform, the art is consistent. The quality of these cards is great. I absolutely love it. See, the spring is blood root. Cool. Um, oh, yeah. Herophant. That's her. Uh, we actually talk about this plant in, in my interview with Heather. Um, great conversation. I'm going to just plug myself a little bit more. Oh, summer Lily. But, yeah. Not necessarily a deck if you're like, I've never gotten a deck before. I don't know anything about plants. Let's do both at the same time. It might be a little overwhelming. Maybe not. Um, if you resonate with the art, of course, as always, go for it. It's simple. It's playful. It's cheery. It's, it's giving. And I also love that the, um, the fonts, everything, it's, again, it's consistent. It changes position on some of the pieces, not a whole lot. Ah, oh, strength is peony. But this is something that is expanding my connection with both tarot and plants. So as someone who loves collecting tarot decks, this was like the best thing this artist could have sent me. And it also is helping me expand my knowledge in both. Now, Let's connect with the book because a field guide to the tarot of plants, a solar companion, is what has really convinced me that this is a great fucking deck that can be really a, a good place of learning. There is so much knowledge and mindfulness put into this book. And of course, last time I used this book and shared this book on here with Bindweed, I talked about some of the sections in it. So you have bindweed, unhealthy attachments, right? And then a little bit about the plants, quick meaning of the card, a little background from the artist. I thoroughly enjoy when someone takes a peek at the devil card and is familiar with bindweed. There's often a laugh, a look of immediate recognition, and they turn to me holding the card and nodding. If you know, you know. This very personable, connection to it I actually really love but this is what I love the most the prompts the prompts that are in here the journaling prompts the things to kind of think about right that to me is like really really special so but bachelor bachelor's buttons so that's a plant we see the illustration in black and white here 
and it's father of spring so it is unique and there's a little bit about the plant itself and of course if you're just looking for let's go this is your go-to right here this sh showy flower looks like none other and yet it humbly doesn't draw attention from those around it I get that. I think that's a great concise way of saying like this is who you're being asked to step into or this is who you are embodying at this point in your life. Because again, that's how I read. Not everyone reads the court cards like that. So to each their own. Did I have lipstick on my teeth that whole time? Who knows? So the prompts. What makes you you? I love that. I fucking love that. So if you're looking to learn in a unique way, this might be the deck for you. I think this might become a little intimidating for a lot of folks, but if you look at this spread and go, yeah, that shit, then this is your shit, bruh. This is it, y'all. So definitely not for the faint of heart. There's a lot of information in here. Cleansing your deck, caring for your deck. Um, it goes in, this book goes into um, what is the difference between solar and new additions, um, decoding my own bias. Like there's so much like reflection in here. There's breakdown of what is tarot, major arcana and minor arcana. Um, what else? There's a lot, there's a lot. The families, so the court cards. Um, there, there's just, there's a lot. There's a lot of time and thought and reflection and journeying that is, is available through this, um, this deck and this book. So if you are looking to get this book, I mean, looking to get this deck, don't skip on getting the book. Don't do it. Um, I would highly recommend you get it. Nine of Summer, Strawberry, Comfort, Quick Meaning, White Blossoms hold the promise of delicious fruit later in the summer. There is a joy and simple, simpleness in every aspect of this plant. Nothing but good things await you. I love, I love, I live, I love and I live, I live, laugh, love. So, yes, should you get this deck? I think so. If you are not a fan of the very playful and charming art, whatever. That's not your cup of tea and art is so subjective. But if I'm being fucking real with you right now, which you know I fucking am, this is a cute ass book. This is such a, so much time, effort, and mindfulness went into this book and went into why, why things are the way they are. And of course, there's more resources. We love more resources. So, you know, I started this saying, like, maybe you shouldn't get this if you're brand new. And I still kind of hold to that um, because, yeah, this is not, oh, there's some extra pages in the back so you can write your own thoughts and feelings. Because for me personally, and this is a personal thing, this would all be a little intimidating for me. I would be looking at these cards and going, I don't understand because there's not a lot of context clues. However, if you understand plants, you might be able to pick this up easy peasy. Um, but yeah, for me, it's a little bit harder to read, but that's okay because I understand my knowledge on plants is where it's at and it's not the best. And that's something I am very open about. That's just not my area of expertise. But if you're looking to expand and you love expanding your tarot decks, make sure to check this one out. You will not be sorry that you did. This is a great deck if you are into this sort of stuff. This is a great book as a companion for it. Recommend for sure. Let me know down below. Do you have this deck? Have you seen work by this artist? She actually lives in Taos, New Mexico right now. Um, I'm not sure for how much longer, but if you've ever come across her work, what do you think? Have you used this deck before? Is it something you would recommend as well? I would love to hear your comments and more down below. But with that said, thank you so much for joining me. 
I hope you are taking care of yourself. The holiday is a whirlwind. Time is fake. Money isn't real. And I love you so much. Bye-bye.